Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be seeing another handwritten story. This is episode 2. And our first episode was of a kind, magical whale under the sea. Now we're going to be seeing the missing rose under the rainbow. This one is also related to the before one. Because the before one, she turns to the mermaid. And now this story is a mermaid. This also includes some other characters. Yes. There were two mermaids. One was Tanishka and the other Havisha. They both were best friends. One day, Tanishka asked, I have always wanted to go to the swimming pool. Havisha replied, Well, this is our swimming pool, but just a bigger one. Tanishka, Yeah, you're kind of right, Havisha. I am kind of right? Yeah, sure. I am always right, Tanishka. We will see about that. Havisha swam down the sea to the bottom. Tanishka was not surprised. She always goes down the sea and draws a rainbow for fun. Tanishka said, You know that there are trillions of these all over the sea. You are running out of space. Havisha, the reason I do this is because my dream was to see a rainbow and find where it ends to get treasure. Tanishka, why don't we go to the surface then? Havisha replied, no, we are mermaids. Humans will trap us and we will never let us escape. Tanishka said, well, why don't we dress like a human and go to the land? Havisha replied, I can't believe you. We don't have feet. We have fins and scales. Tanishka said, we will tell them we just came from the sea after vlogging and it was all our dress up for a video. Havisha agreed. They changed and headed out to the shore. It was perfect timing since there was a rainbow right in front of them. They walked by their fins all the way to the end but noticed a letter saying, There will be a treasure at the end of a rainbow and you have to get it. You can hike up the rainbow but don't fall back down. There is only one gold coin left. Grab that coin as your success. So that's what it's written on the letter. Tanishka screamed, Oh my gosh, yay, I can't wait to open the treasure. Havisha replied, same. They both carefully unlocked the box of treasure. When they opened it, it said, Take all of these gold coins and jewelry or a mystery gift. Havisha said, The gold treasure, of course. Who wouldn't pick that? Tanishka replied, I will take the mystery gift. Then a voice came out of nowhere saying softly, Hello, my dear friends. My name is Wunamali, and I am here to give Tanishka the beautiful rose. She got the rose and had a small letter with a vintage style. She opened the letter, it said, An empty land. I knew the pathway like the back of my hand. So tell me when you're gonna let me in. Go get something to rely on. Then it says, under the sea, have a nice day. So that part was actually taken from a song because it actually made sense in this place. Tanishka thought, I should go under the sea. It's an empty land and it's a pathway for us. And Havisha uses to draw the rainbow and we were waiting for the treasure to let us in this time. And the only person I rely on is my family and Havisha. And she's the only one here, so I better rely on her. Havisha kept on screaming, Hello, are you daydreaming? Tanishka came back to her senses after a long time of thinking. Tanishka said, Let's swim under the sea, where they found rose petals everywhere. They both followed it to another treasure. The treasure was a piece of paper on the sand. It read, You have made it. You should be happy because many mermaids never came this far, but you guys did to be more happy. Lift up this paper, follow the rose. Okay, next. And follow the rose petals. Next. They followed the rose petals with the two roses, one which was given by Unamali and the other from under the treasure. The rose petals led to a very old mermaid's house. They kept the flowers at her doorstep, knocked on the door and swam away. 
Then the old mermaid opened up the door and she came outside looking down and saw the flower. And there was a note which they wrote. which says, there will be a treasure at the end of a rainbow and you have to get it. You can hike up the rainbow, but don't fall back down. There's only one gold coin left. Grab that coin as your success. She takes her daughter and goes to the rainbow at the end. She grabs the Treasure opens it and the ghost named Una Malay comes out, which is a spirit, comes out, they talk to her in a soft voice and this thing process continues again and again and again. So the last letter which says, you know, an empty land, that thing, and also, you have made it. You should be happy because many moments came this far, but you guys did it. To be more happy, lift up this paper and follow the rose petals. So that's how it all started. And this thing continued for ages. So now, the thing which I love about the story is that I actually did some looping because the rose petals, you get it, and then the rose petals. Then you suddenly, it's at the doorstep, and then she brings her daughter. So it's technically like the daughter is me. And then my friend, they rely on, and then it goes in a circle, and it goes for ages. Okay. So that's what this story is really about. And I also really like that I even used a song in this story. And then, yep, used a lot of adjectives and then thinking and many other things so and the thing which i disliked about this video is nothing because i'm the one who wrote it and how about we talk about what age can read this book i think perhaps whoever is interested well, this book needs to get published at least because when it gets published, I will of course do it. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you so much for 12 subscribers. Meet you guys next time. Please subscribe.